Hello, you're welcome. We've had an awful lot of rain here the last few days. Um, today I'm just here in the greenhouse potting on some um, tomato seedlings and I'm doing a little bit of general tidying up around the garden because it's been too wet to work on our special project. Um, and if you're watching this on Sunday, March the 19th, it's Mothering Sunday here in Ireland. Um, and I'm aware that there is an international Mother's Day um, or there certainly are international days. And because we don't celebrate Mother's Day, it's just too hallmark and it's too UNESCO. We were looking up some of the other days and we had to laugh at International Toilet Day. And there's International Habitat Day, which sounds wonderful. But then there's also International Tourism Day, which offsets the Habitat Day because tourism is responsible for a lot of habitat damage. And then there's International Tuna Day, which observes that the tuna stocks are dwindling to a point where they're no longer biologically sustainable. So I'm just wondering what the point of that this tuna day is. Is it this is the day we eat lots of tuna to celebrate them or this is the day we don't eat tuna to celebrate? It doesn't really give an objective. And I don't think any of the other days have a specific objective. So they're just nonsensical notional days. And um, we don't celebrate Earth Day either because it's an opportunity for people, for some people, not you, but it's an opportunity for some people to do some virtue signaling about turning off their lights a bit earlier and not buying plastic water bottles. And it doesn't really mean anything. So for me, even though I don't celebrate Mother's Day, Mother Earth's Day is every day. So I don't dig the beds, but I'm just digging out those thistles because they're pretty, they're pretty tough. Just leave that there. Yeah, another thing that, um, apart from these nonsensical notional days, another thing I've noticed, which is quite strange, is that um, we don't have any more talk about terrorism or well, to be honest, I don't really know because I just do not watch any mainstream media. But um, I don't think they're talking about terrorism anymore. It seems to me there's only one narrative these days, and that's climate change. And how it's all because of us humans and we're a scourge on the planet and we'd be better off without us. And I just think that's rubbish. I don't think we know for sure about climate change because it's such a young science. Um, the weather's only been recorded for the last 150 years or so and um, we f people forget there was a mini ice age in the 14-1500s so um, I just think it's all nonsense I think the weather does change but I think to say that humans should be removed off the planet is not just insane but it's unnecessary because our Mother Earth needs us because we are kind of the interface between the spiritual being that is Mother Earth and ourselves interacting with all the other beings on the planet. Everything is sentient and sacred. So I think um, what we should do when we're thinking of every day as Mother's Day is to take a little bit of time out and just, you know, commune with the with the earth with the soil with the insects with the birds all you have to do is say hello as you're walking along if you suddenly see something new in your locality because when we're driving we often don't see things and sometimes if you're a passenger you think god i didn't see that tree there before and i think I think trees are kind of in a slightly different dimension to us. They're very, 
we're like little flies buzzing around them and they're much slower. But I think in the way that we notice flies, the trees are going to notice us. And if we say to them, good morning when we're walking, or how are you, you look beautiful with your new leaves, you know, something like that. I think that kind of ritual, that kind of way of being is really lovely for yourself and for the tree or the birds. There's a little robin singing somewhere over here. Or when you uncover a worm in the soil, it's lovely to acknowledge it because, you know, we don't see them all the time. It's just if we do a little bit of digging or hoeing, they can become visible. And they do a lot, so just to say hello is a nice way to show that we appreciate them. I'm just enjoying the bird song. So Mother's Day, it's every day, isn't it? And do you know what I think is really something wonderful that could be done? Because our Mother Earth is so creative, she's creating every second of every day and we can see it especially in springtime when all the flowers are coming up and the buds are opening on the trees and the birds are starting to nest. So we can see the creativity, we can see our little seeds germinating and starting to push through. So I think, you know, instead of, um, this is advice to myself very much as well, by the way, instead of um, worrying about things such as this climate change narrative or worrying about being cooped up in a 15 minute city, don't put your energy into that. Put your energy into creating something. So. It might be a nice idea to do something creative and dedicate it to Mother Earth. So if you couldn't, or if you're unable to sow seeds, you could maybe sit with a flower, just sit with it and enjoy its company, and then maybe draw it or paint it. And then you've created something yourself. And um, I really think creativity is so important as a way to celebrate Mother Earth because you're celebrating the Divine Feminine, you're celebrating something which is deeply, deeply human, and that is the urge to create. And we're connecting with Mother Earth as we create. And for centuries now, the creative muse is known as the anima, and it's what... Um, encourages artists and people to create and that anima is the divine feminine so it's a kind of circle when we begin to celebrate our mother the earth we are celebrating creativity and we're celebrating the divine feminine so it's a win-win as far as i'm concerned for me i like to make a little ritual of things so i might light a candle in the morning or i might just you know have a little um, conversation with one of my little trees that are growing but little rituals can help you get into a kind of mindset and a routine which enables you to keep mother earth in the forefront of your mind and the more positive thinking that we're sending out to mother earth the better off we'll all be that's what i think anyway
So I finished my transplanting and I've just been doing a few bits of tidying up around here and um, raking up before I come to do a bit of strimming. Chickens are abed, so it's evening time. It's time to go in. So I'm going in now out of the chill and um, I'll say bye bye and see you next week. I hope you enjoyed today's film. If you did, subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. And have a look at the website danusirishherbgarden.com for more information about us and about the herbal medicine courses I offer and the Wise Woman Way training. And if you go to the shop, you can find the books, the weed handbooks and other herbal goodies. And remember, we put a new film out every Sunday. So looking forward to seeing you next week. Mm -hmm.